Let's start with our warm-ups. Feet hip with the part, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, shoulders back and down. Activate your core, ribs towards your spine and up. And spread out your toes, stretch your head toward the ceiling and focus on that breath. Feeling that inner awareness as you breathe in energy and exhale stress. And keeping that inner focus, bring your arms to shoulder level, shoulders down, and stretch your fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch out to the front, and then exhale, clasp your hands behind you. Just gently press the fingers toward the floor as you lift your heart, feel that chest open, and then pivot at your hips, exhale, over. Hands up toward the ceiling, head down, <clears throat> move your chin around. Relax the neck. Take a breath or two. Deepen as much as you like. And then with the knees slightly bent, start at the bottom of your spine, working all the way back up. Shoulders dropping, chest rising, and head reaching away. So nice upper body back bend throughout the practice. Inhale upright. Exhale, releasing your arms, and just take a moment feeling a little more circulation, energy flow. Again, inhale, arms to shoulder level, shoulders staying down. Exhale to your heart, stretch out to the front, shoulders still down, and then clasp your hands the opposite way behind you as you lift your heart and stretch through the spine. Pivot over as you exhale. And just deepen as much as you like. Spread your toes, reach those hands toward your head for those shoulders to release. And then again, wind your way back up into the back bend, chest high, and don't forget to breathe. And then inhale upright and release your arms. Keep one arm down, the other arm out for our side stretch. Palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder, push the hands away, lean to the side. Stretch out through your head and fingertips, press the foot you're leaning away from down. Just feel that whole side open a little bit more. Inhale up, exhale that one down. And for the other side, balancing things, arms up, shoulder level, palm up, and hand above your shoulder. Stretch the hands and reach to the side. Take a moment to breathe as you feel those ribs open, pushing your foot down that you're leaning away from. And again, inhale up, release your arms. Take a moment, just feel your body as you release those shoulders back and down. And then stretch your spine apart for our twist. Arms out at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows, bring the arms back by your ears, and stretch the sitting bones down and the crown high. Exhale, turn into the twist either way, and stretch again. Exhale, keep the weight on both feet as you pivot forward in the twist. Spread your toes, keep your arms by your ears, and don't forget to lift your sitting bones. And then in the twist, work your way back up, lifting your heart. And remember, always gentle on the low back while you're twisted. Elbows back and chest high and shoulders down. Take a breath or two. And on an inhalation, come up and turn to the center. Switch your arms around, balance it out. And again, stretch your spine apart. And twist the other way. A breath in and exhale over. Take a breath or two as you hang, letting that weight on each side even out as much as you can. And then keeping your arms by your ears, staying in your twist, work up into that upper body for your back bend one more time. Chest high, shoulders relaxing and keep stretching your spine. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center, extended mountain, reach those fingertips to the ceiling, keeping your shoulders down. And then arms by your ears, pivot forward, and push the sitting bones back, head and fingertips forward. Everything straight, 
and then just drop and hang and ride dog. Arms just going wherever they fall. Pull in deeper with your hands behind your legs if you like it. A little extra stretch on your back. Hands to the center. <clears throat> and one more time, a nice gentle roll up, coming back into mountain pose. As you get back into mountain pose, just take a moment noticing how your body is working and that spine is released. And then bring your hands to your heart, step to the end of the mat in mountain pose. Fingertips together, palms just gently pressing as you look at them, bring them toward the ceiling. A nice back bend looking at your thumbs, deepen as far as you'd like. And exhale, follow your hands to your heart, pivot on over into ragdoll. Slide your hands up under your knees, halfway up, stretch, elbows, knees, and spine straight. And then bend your knees, hands under your shoulders, fingertips down, palms down, or remember, you can put a block and raise the floor if you need to. And then the right foot goes back into a lunge position. Just press through the heel, out through the crown. Feel that hip starting to release a little bit. Put your palms down on the floor and bring your front foot back into plank position. So remember, if your wrists are an issue, you can bring your forearms to the floor here. So elbows, wrists, elbows, shoulders stacked, and heels and crown pushing away. And keep those hips a little bit up if you tend to sink in the lower back. And then bring your knees to the floor, bend your elbows and bring your chest down toward the floor and slide forward into a little baby cobra. So your hands are not pressuring, your arms are not pressuring. If you had your forearms on the floor, you can still do that as well. Chest forward, little back bend in your cobra position. Focusing on the heart, forward and up, crown toward the ceiling, so don't lift your chin too high. And stretch back through the legs, so lower body does nothing while you're in your cobra. Take a breath, feel the back bend as much as you like. And then tuck your toes, press into your hands, and we're gonna go into down dog, so push your hips, sitting bones back, you can adjust your feet however you need to and get your body into as much of a V shape as you can. So the heels are going down toward the floor, the head toward the hands, and the sitting bones are your focal point going up kind of toward the corner of the room behind you. So nice V shape, straight back, straight legs, everything just lifting through the sitting bones. Shoulders back toward your waist and feel that whole support. And then we're stepping the right foot forward between your hands. So kind of lift your heels, lift your hips, look forward and step your foot. If that doesn't work, just put your hand behind your ankle and pull it till it's in its proper position, ankle and knee lined up and foot by your hands. Stretch out into that lunge position. So keep the hips low, reach out through the heel and head, and then push back foot forward, and you're in ragdoll again, just head. Take a breath, exhaling tension. And then hands together again, inhaling, bring your hands to your heart, toward the ceiling, and again into your back bend, because, yeah, we're going to balance the body and do the other side. So take a moment, shoulders down, head back, fingertips just gently pressing together. Exhale, follow your hands to your heart, pivot on over, drop into ragdoll. Take a moment there, lifting your hips, slide those hands up under your knees, halfway up, stretch. Shoulders back, head and sitting bones are reaching away. Bend your knees, hands next to your feet, Palms or fingertips down and step the left foot into your lunge. Take a moment there, just feeling that stretch through that front of the hip on the hip flexor on the left side. Stretch out through your crown, get everything as straight, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder as you can. 
Palms down and step the right foot back. And again, plank position. You can bring your knees down or your forearms to the floor if you need to. Stretch out through your heels and your head. Keep that core active. So make sure if you're needing to do a little pike in your hips, you can do that. Otherwise, ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders as straight as you can, keeping those core muscles working to support you. Knees to the floor. Bending your elbows in, bring that chest down, keep those hips up until you slide them forward, and another little cobra. So chest forward, shoulders back and down, and crown toward the ceiling. Remember, don't lift your chin too high. Take a breath, feel that back bend as deeply as you like. Remember, you can be closer to the floor if you need to, or you can come up higher if you prefer. Take a moment and just feel your body, stretch it out, reach those toes back. Remember those hips stay down and that lower body does nothing. Hands don't support you, they just position. Take a breath, relax. And then hands under your shoulders, toes tucked under. We're gonna go onto the balls of the feet, base of the toes area. As you come back up and into your down dog. So remember, you want as straight a line and V shape in your body as you can. Keep the shoulders going back toward your waist, the sitting bones going up and back, and the heels sinking down. Reach your head toward your hands. Remember, don't lift your head. You want the neck in the same line with the rest of your spine. Feel your body. Let it relax. In some of those more advanced yoga sequences. This is a resting position, so get as comfortable as you can here. And then we're taking the left foot forward this time between the hands. So again, you can lift your heels and your hips and your shoulders off at the wrists and step that foot forward as much as you can. Once more, if you need to, use your hand behind the ankle to pull it forward. You want the knee and ankle lined up in front of you. And then as you're in that lunge position, just push out through the heel and the head, pull those shoulder blades toward your waist, and exhale any stress, and push forward into ragdoll. Take a breath, and relax. Hands together, inhale it. Let's go all the way up again into a nice little back bend. Take a breath, exhale tension and come back into mountain pose. So just a little sudden salutation sample there and allow your whole body to feel all that energy flowing through you. Take a breath and relax. And then step a little wide and we'll do a little warrior. So toes start straight ahead. You can go as wide as you like with the legs. The wider you go, the more you'll get deep into the warrior position with your legs. And we're going to do just warrior two. So bring your arms up shoulder level and keep the palms toward the floor. Turn one foot like we do for triangle. Also keep this hip back. That body stays facing where it was to start with. Heel back, toes forward on that back foot. And then we'll bend the front knee and sink it over the ankle. As you do that, check to make sure you can see your big toe. You don't want to lean it in too much. And you don't want to lean it out too much. So you want it right over the ankle. Arms are at shoulder level. The hips are sinking straight down. Your crown still straight up toward the ceiling. Weight on both feet. So keep that back foot sinking as evenly as you can. And don't forget to breathe. Feel that warrior energy building. So it's a little warm. Don't forget to relax. And then straightening that knee, turn the feet to the front into your star position. Stretch it out. Oh, go ahead. Release your arms for a moment and let those shoulders relax. But remember, we've got to balance the body and warrior to the other side. So take a moment to breathe, just relaxing everything, releasing any tension. No crunching those toes, remember spread them out 
and adjust your legs if you need to as we get ready to warrior to the other side. Arms at shoulder level, shoulder blades, shoulders toward your waist, crown toward the ceiling, sitting bones down. Turn the one foot 90 degrees, don't move the rest of your body. Heel back, toes forward on that foot behind you. Remember, don't pull that hip forward, keep it back as much as you can. Spread your toes, bend your knee, sink down. So the further apart your legs are, the more the side will get parallel to the floor. You don't need to go there if that's not going to work for you. Just have it wherever is okay for you. Into that back foot, weight as much as you can so that both feet are bearing your weight and your hips are sinking straight down and you feel balanced and comfortable in your warrior two. Again, check that front knee. Make sure it's where it's supposed to be, not sinking in or out, but right above your ankle. Take a breath, relax those shoulders down, head up, fingertips reaching out, spread your toes. Feel that support in both your feet. Exhale any tension. And then again, straightening your knee, turning your feet forward. Feel that star energizing from your heart all the way out. And release. And step back into mountain pose. As you get back into mountain pose, just feel all that energy through your body, a little bit more intense, getting you ready for the rest of your day. Hands together at your heart. Look at that. Inhale the hands up and pull those thumbs back into your back bend. Straightening up, separate your hands, coming to shoulder level, pivot forward, swan diving over into ragdoll. Just hang a moment, breathing, lifting your sitting bones. Slide your hands up under your knees for that halfway up stretch and one more time. Everything's straight. Bend your knees and come to the floor in our child pose transition. Hips back to your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead down. Take a breath there and just relax. Tension out. Feel that spine getting stretched and opened. And then inhaling, sit up and slide off, bringing your feet to the front into staff position. Sitting down slightly behind you, core supporting your spine, shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling, and don't forget to breathe. Press out through the bottoms of the foot, through the heels, pull those toes back, feel the backs of your legs getting that nice stretch, and don't forget to breathe. And then let's dive our dolphin. So bring your right foot to your inner left thigh, get those sitting bones adjusted and the knee out to the side. Bend your left leg and put the heel back near your hip, not under it. And that hip will come up because we're going to stretch the spine apart, twisting and toward that front knee. So the right knee is our focal point. We're going to pull those ribs in, exhaling hands where you like. And as you dive your dolphin, exhaling down toward the knee under the water. And then rotating your face, inhaling up to the sun and the sky. And just feel that whole spine doing its work as you dive under on the exhalation and you arch up into the back bend, coming to the sun and the sky on the inhalations. And just feel the whole body doing its work through that whole range of motion. And then the next time you come to the top, just pause, exhale, coming back to the center, and releasing into staff. Feel your body a little bit, again, more energized, a little bit more active today in our practice. And we'll dive our dolphin back the other way. So left foot to the inner right thigh, knee out to the side, bend your left leg, or right leg, <coughs> heel back by your hip. Stretch your spine up. And in that stretched open position, turn toward that left knee. Ribs in, exhaling, diving your dolphin. And inhaling it up to the sun and the skull. Lift that heart, feel the openings. Feel your whole spine working as you forward bend on the dive under. 
and backward bend on the inhalation up. And just notice how your whole spine, whole body works together with the breath as you go through your dolphin dive and leap. And again, when you're ready, the next time you're at the top, take a breath, pausing, stretching, opening, and exhale back to the center. Bring your legs back into staff position, feeling your body, noticing how everything is energized and working for you today. And we'll bring the feet to the end of the mat. Again, staff position with that core working to support your low back and the crown toward the ceiling. Shoulders back and down, press out through your heels, get those legs as stretched out as you can. And when you're ready, we're gonna roll slowly onto the floor. So just as you come all the way down, Take a moment to breathe, letting those shoulders relax to the mat, and hands just releasing. And then bring your hands, palms up, back from your shoulders. So you bend slightly toward your heels, press your back down, just gently, and then lift your right leg straight up toward the ceiling, as straight as you can. Flex out through the heel, pressing it away, pull those toes back toward you. Feel that whole body, relax this other hip, and press that through that bottom of the left foot. We're going to go into our twist, so we're going to roll all the way to the left side. Bring your foot to the floor and your hands together in front of you. Keep your head down on the floor. Don't overlook your neck. Bring your foot up into your left hand if you can. Otherwise, hold the left hand on your right leg. Right arm to the ceiling, palm open, right at shoulder level, keep it at the shoulder level as you lower the back of your hand toward the floor behind you. Turn your head and look at it for your neck twist, hand going toward the floor and shoulder opening for that middle back twist. It may be up in the air, that's okay. Just let it go where gravity brings it. And then relax. The more you release any tension, the more those ligaments release, and you may go deeper if you aren't already as far as you want it to be. Hand on the foot or leg, and just push that right foot away, getting that low back more into the twist if you love it. But remember, personal practice, do what's right for you, especially in your twists. Take a breath or two, just releasing. Feel your body adjusting more and more into your twist, aligning and balancing your body and your energy. Just let it happen. Let everything go. Deep breaths, relaxing everything. And when you're ready to release, just let go of your leg or foot, roll onto your back, bringing that right leg back up, foot to the ceiling. And again, shoulders back and down, and hands up. At T position, you can turn the palms down if you want. Use your core muscles for support as you slowly bring your right heel down toward the floor. Whenever it gets there, just totally relax and feel your body as it releases. Make any adjustments you need to. Turn your hands again, palms up at shoulder level. And sitting bones once more slightly toward your heels with the back gently down and lift that left leg up. If you can't do it with the legs straight, that's okay, bend the knee. Again, bring it as high toward the ceiling as it wants to go. Flex the heel, toes toward you wherever you are. Take a moment to breathe, shoulders down, palms open, and returning to the right side. So roll with head on the floor. Hands together and foot all the way to the floor. Bring the foot up into your right hand if that works for you, or hold the leg. Knee as straight as it feels good for you. And turn your head to look up at your hand above your shoulder, left hand open, and bring the back of that hand toward the floor behind you. Keep turning your head, looking at that hand as it lowers toward the mat or floor. And again, Foot in front of you presses away for the lower back twist. Hand on your foot or leg to keep it down for that low back twist as much as you want. Head turning for your neck area twist and hand just coming with gravity 
into that middle back twist, breathing and relaxing. Always exhaling a little emphatically, so those ligaments release a little bit more, allowing gravity to adjust you even deeper into your twist whenever your body is ready. Exhale, personal practice, doing what's right for you. And when you're ready to release, as always, just let go of the foot, roll onto your back, and bring that heel out toward the ceiling. Other leg is straight as much as you can, pressing the back gently down, activating the core, and slowly lowering the heel to the mat. And again, whenever it gets there, just go ahead and totally relax your body and bring your hands near your hips, palms up into corpse position for our final relaxation. Just take a moment to scan your body, feeling all that energy from our active practice today. Toes together, let that lower body relax. Hands, palms up, shoulders down, opening the heart and releasing any tension in the torso. Move your chest toward the ceiling just slightly and then just let your torso sink into that surface beneath you. Soften your jaw, your face, let your whole body release and relax. Deep breaths, everything just sinking deep into that earth support, letting your body go completely. As your body relaxes even more with each breath, just allow your mind to release thoughts of your body. And as you do know that other thoughts will come to your mind, it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, you can let the thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. No attention, no awareness, just let them go. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. The thoughts float in and out like your breath, floating away unaware. And as your body sinks deeper and your mind floats freer, just allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Focus inward, find the peace within, and just fill your being with peace, taking a few moments being peace. And if that relaxation feels good today, just keep relaxing as long as you can. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just be enjoying energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently however feels right for you today. Stretching more completely as you breathe more fully and get ready for that final yoga, yoga hug of appreciation. Setting minds toward your heels, draw your heels toward your hips and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug that ever feels right for you today. And when you've had enough appreciation of the yoga work your body does and the work your body does for you every day, you can bring your head and feet to the floor or rolling to the side and sitting back up, getting ready for the rest of your day. Thanks for joining me.